Active weather in the high plains with that region of low pressure centered over Iowa. By sunset, we've already seen half a dozen reports of severe weather and damage from Iowa and neighboring states. On the tail end of that system, it's snow in the central plains. For us, it's not going to be a big deal, but it may be a big deal for the Great Lakes. Notice the bright red colors of the jet stream. That tells you where the most powerful winds above the ground are. It also tells you where the risk of severe weather is going to be for parts of tonight. We get clouds, fog. You probably noticed that south wind boosting humidity, so we get another gray start to tomorrow, and a very thin line of showers moves through as that storm system basically weakens as it moves across the southeast. The positive for us is it comes in and it goes right back out, which means by tomorrow night, we're back to clear and quiet. Here's what you get for temperatures tomorrow as you travel. Mid-70s across central Georgia and the Gulf Coast. Mid-60s to the north. That's that cooler air coming in behind the front as it moves toward the southeast. Notice most of the region pretty calm tomorrow, other than a sprinkle moving through. On Friday, fabulous. It'll be the same story on Saturday and basically on Sunday, too. In the forecast for tonight, just watch out for the fog, meaning low visibility when you start tomorrow morning. It won't be in the 50s. We're talking 60s. That's the big difference now that the dew point has jumped up. However, by tomorrow night, we're back into the upper 40s and then lower 40s Friday night and Saturday night. Look at the daytime temperatures. Mid-70s tomorrow and then 60s for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Early next week, another storm system develops in the plains, so we warm up and we'll get a little bit wet with thunder by the middle of the week. I'm Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals.